Hi, Gemini. Welcome to March 2018. This is your reading in general. What are we going to expect in the month of March? Our challenges, the vibes we're putting out there, how do we work through things, but we're going to look specifically at career, work, and finance, your love life, whether you're coupled or single. We're going to look at your emotions or your personal development in the month of in the month in the month of March. And then we are also going to look at your crystal of the month. So let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, Gemini, what's going on for you in general in the month of March 2018? And they're saying, you know what, circumstances outside of your control are going to be a little bit annoying for you. Um, things are going to be happening. Things are maybe going to not be going so well in different areas of your life and it has nothing to do with you or decisions that you made, you know. So it could be, um, for example, maybe you have a sibling or a friend who's going through some hardship. They're kind of making their problems your problems and had nothing to do with your choices. So that fucking sucks. But... Um, you know, what can you do or kind of remember to help you navigate this? And they're like, your shit's fine. And you've learned a lot of lessons. So just stay focused on the things that are going right in your life, the things that you can control, and understand that positive changes are coming. Everything is actually super okay. It's just annoying this month. And so they're saying, you know, um, find your own inner strength and face all of your fears with confidence. And with courage, okay? Now, you have to go with your gut instincts and just trust that those are right this month because it is a third eye chakra related kind of energy. Now, Libra already, ha already had this as well as their energy. And you guys both have, spoiler alert, the same um, crystal energy this month. So air signs in general are kind of just going through these um, strange circumstances and needing to really kind of like assert yourself and go with your gut instincts. It's very important in the month of March for you. Okay, so what kind of vibes are you putting out to the world in March in general? And they're saying um, that maybe you're hesitant to receive, okay? You may be hesitant to receive blessings. You might, oh, it might be too good to be true. Or what if I let love in and, you know, they hurt me? Okay, but here's the deal. Um, if they were going to hurt you, whether you were trying to fight it or not, like, they're going to hurt you, right? So, I mean, you're really just kind of hurting yourself if you're living in that fear. Allow people to help you. Allow positive things to flow into your life in the month of March. They're saying, like, emotionally, um, that might be a little bit of a struggle for you, you know? You might not be in your best emotional space um, when there's all this chaos around you that has nothing to do with you. However, you're going to come into a more emotionally balanced and enthusiastic, like wonderful space if you can allow yourself to receive blessings from the universe, from other people, etc. Okay? Now let's look at your finances or work, career, that kind of energy for the month of March. And what do we have in general? And they're saying a lot of confidence because you've gone within and you figured out what's important to you, like how to prioritize, things like that. You've really figured out your focus and your strengths. And now you're able to use your strengths moving forward in the month of March um, to your own benefit. So what is the challenge? And it says, um, so both of these are related to that solar plexus chakra. They're both that yellow tone, okay? So um, if you're going to do a a chakra meditation this month, your solar plexus would be the right one because with that courage and with, you know, our confidence and trying to radiate that out so we can receive these blessings, that's going to be very important for you in regards to career work finance. Now it's saying um, pride, loving yourself first and foremost, because that's where we're getting that confidence from, but then also being able to relate to other people, seeing yourself within them, right? Helping them to learn from your mistakes or you like reflecting back on, oh, I remember that time in my life and now I'm glad that I made these changes and I'm able to now confidently do something different with that energy because our other energy here is about growth and wanting to expand our consciousness and our awareness and being more reflective in the things, um, that we've learned and then applying those lessons to life because it's one thing to conceptualize something it's one thing to understand things but it's a totally different thing to apply it right like if you go to a therapy session with a psychologist you can totally understand why they're giving the guidance that they're giving you but do you apply that to your relationships do you apply that 
energy and if you don't it doesn't work and that's kind of um, what you're dealing with in the month of March in regards to career and finances and so with that abundance block potentially where it's like oh you know what the universe or people are trying to give me things and I'm like mm, I don't know maybe too good to be true or mm, I don't know you're not helping yourself so you need to apply this knowledge that you have about being open to receive and make it real somebody tries to give you something you say thank you and you take it this month okay now, um, what is some guidance in regards to all of this? And they're saying it's a good time of good fortune. It is a time of good fortune and abundance, even though it doesn't seem like it because of other people around you or circumstances that had nothing to do with you. But in general, should you be open to receive, it is going to be a good financial month for you. It could be a month of promotions as well. And so they're like, you need to be willing to receive all good things in your life. So I guess I would try to do... Um, there, there's this woman, Christy Marie Sheldon, who talks about how to clear your abundance blocks. I would do that. I would, I would Google that video, um, and I would do that <laughs> if I were a Gemini. But I'm not, so whatever. Uh, looking at your love life. Gemini singles. What do we have for you in the month of March? You may be pretty content being single. Like, you would welcome positive changes. You would welcome somebody into your life so long as they just don't disrupt the harmony of your life but what are the challenges to finding that person and they're saying it's patience it's waiting for the right one to come along not settling for less than you deserve but you're aware of it and so you're kind of just waiting it out and seeing what's happening so um, what is within your control in order to attract that faster to speed it up and they're like this energy of uh, I don't want it uh, I don't want it because if things are going pretty good in your um, daily life and like you've learned from your lessons in the past you don't want to receive them or you don't want to repeat them but um, each person, even though they might seem similar to the other one, is going to be different. So you don't want to accidentally push them away and give them the impression that you don't want love. So what kind of vibes are you putting out there? And they're saying, well, that you're very honest, um, that you know what you want, that you're a good communicator. And that's true. Geminis are very chatty Cathy's. Um, so, I mean, that's good. At least people feel like they can talk to you. But what they're saying is um, you've got to be very direct about what it is that you expect in a day-to-day -day life and what kind of partner you're looking for and um, that you won't settle for less than that, you know? So, that is for singles. And then as far as couples go, what's going on for you in general and love in the month of March? And it's saying you've got some decisions that you have to make. <laughs> it's saying that you've got to be very detail-oriented, even though that's kind of a pain in your ass and you're not necessarily enthused about it. So what is your partner's impression of your energy this month that you are indecisive because you don't have that enthusiasm to pay attention to details? So what is the workaround? What is your guidance in order to um, foster more love between you despite these energies and it's saying act on these opportunities that are set before you to make decisions to be focused um, even though it's not something you necessarily want to do it's something you have to do for your relationship if you want it to grow stronger and better and happier and more loving in the month of March it's saying you have to commit to these things without equivocation you have to be very very decisive in the month of March and um, that could be relationship uh, about the relationship. Do I want this? Do I not? This could also be about things that relate to the relationship about like, where are we going to live? You know, what kind of job am I going to take? Family things, you know, children, that sort of thing. Okay. So for those of you who are in between, you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, or perhaps it's not official, so you don't know what to call it, they're saying um, just wait out that energy. It's not supposed to be on or off officially yet. Things will start changing, though, by the end of the month, moving into April. So uh, in regards to your personal development or your emotions in the month of March, what is the general energy? And they're like... Um, well, that things are hard, you're doing a lot of work, but that's good. Don't quit, don't give up, working hard on things um, right before you get to the end result. They're saying you might start to lose your sense of enthusiasm, drive, focus, motivation that you might have had um, previous, like in January and February, but they're like, you have to keep going, keep going. Um, it might start to feel hopeless as you get to the end of the month, and especially because of those outside circumstances that have nothing to do with you, but if you're going to worry about that shit, then you're not going to achieve what you wanted to, and you're you're so close to actually achieving something. If you can really buckle down and work through the projects that you've started or um, especially like on an emotional level, like they could be like self-help kind of things, um, you're going to be very successful in the end and other people are going to be proud of you, not just you being proud of you. So it's very important for you this month. Now, what is the lesson in all of this um, that will kind of help you to focus and get through it? And they're like, this is in regards to your self-esteem, about knowing um, your own worth, your own value, about growing that confidence. So again, solar plexus related. And it's saying you possess gifts of the soul that you can help other people with, 
right? There's something very valuable about you and you need to share these gifts with the world. And that could just be being a good friend, being a good listener. Um, you know, maybe you're funny and maybe you add joy to the lives of other people by the jokes that you tell. It could be something very simple like that. It could also be something very profound. Maybe you cure cancer, who knows? But I think if you're really busy working on curing cancer, you might not be watching this video. I hope you are though, because everybody needs to grow a little bit, um, whether that's through tarot or another means. But um, that's kind of what I see for you. What are the energies that you're putting out? And they're saying that you do have new ideas and that they are valuable and that your enthusiasm is important and it's inspiring to other people, but that you might not be direct enough, that you might not be talking enough about what your dreams, desires, goals are. And if you're not doing that, then you're not open to receive help from other people to do it. So you want to be very detailed in um, what you're doing. And especially if you're writing, if you're a blogger, you're going to want to be like um, very detailed in your writing this month that will yield you better results. Or, um, you know, if you're the kind of person who has to send a lot of emails and things like that, if you are doing online marketing, anything like that, if your income is somehow tied to writing, be very, very detail focused this month. Now, I want to talk about your crystal of the month. And you have um, the same crystal as Libra and Scorpio. So every all, all of you guys um, pulled out Apophyllite. And you specifically, though, have purple apophyllite as something that would be helpful for you, okay? Now, they didn't have that, just you. <laughs> but any of these apophyllites would help. You can go and buy your own apophyllite. I have these on my website if you want these specific stones. But the reason why apophyllite is going to be helpful for you, um, it'll help you get over illness, like if it's respiratory this month, uh, which is good because flu's going around. But then the other thing is that um, it helps you, especially the purple one, to be very in touch with your natural instincts, with your own intuition, with the guidance from your spirit team, from spirit guides, angels, you know, et cetera, whatever it is you believe in, the higher power. Um, but it does call in a lot of protection, a lot of guidance. It gives you a lot of clarity. It helps you to know which direction to go and how to keep on the right path towards like all of these blessings, which is very important for you because you do have a capacity to quit this month. And what it's saying here as I'm doing this video is we're into minute 11 and 44 seconds. That's an angel message. So it's saying, think about what you want. The wishes that you have, not only can you have them, but they will create like a domino effect, a cascade of greater prosperity and abundance, as well as stability for you moving forward, but you cannot give up this month. Okay, so that's your reading, and I will see you soon for love readings. Ciao! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!